I'm here to talk about the new uh, oil burner pan for the 20 ton narrow gauge shea that John Buckwalter designed. Um, we had to redo the, the burner pan. You can see the original here. Um, we had a lot of problems controlling the fire. Uh, the, the burner, the uh, fire didn't start till several inches from the tip of the nozzle, even at a very low atomizing pressure. And then as a result, it would blow out the, the uh, fire door in the back of the boiler. A um, couple things I had right here, you can see the stainless steel tube here and here. Those were in the direct heat uh, for the atomizing air slash steam line. Um, we decided that was just too much heat and that it was actually heating the oil when it was going into the burner. We also had a problem controlling air uh, and the attitude of the nozzle. So the original pan was an inch high. We welded on this three-quarter strip on top of it, but we still couldn't really control the air. The, the hole, the air chute in the bottom didn't have a damper, and the uh, air coming in and around the burner nozzle uh, did not uh, have any dampers. And then this, this was where the oil line went through, so it actually got warm as well. So the, the things that we did is <clears throat> I moved the, the arch over to the new pan. Uh, <clears throat> the new pan has the oil line goes through a, a one inch or a one eighth inch stainless steel pipe clamped to the outside of the, of the uh, a pan and the pan is is framed with a two inch light channel um, <clears throat> the the steam line is barely exposed it's a little hard to see in there but it's barely exposed you can see it right there to the heat and that's just the sleeve or the 1 8 inch pipe sleeve and so the the burner assembly is able to move back and forth so we can adjust its position into into the uh, fire pan to possibly be able to control things better so it actually will move all the way out of the uh, of the burner pan plus you can see there's an adjustable damper on this side an adjustable damper on this side so I can slide up and basically close up the air as much as we need to around the burner nozzle. Also, on the bottom, there's an adjustable, you can see this door, we can open and close and put it where we need to. In addition, this hole right here is a modified 3 8 inch stainless pipe cap, and it, it can be used for a pilot uh, oil pilot burner similar to what uh, Bob Achenbaugh did on his. So got a lot more flexibility with this burner pan design versus the old one. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll be able to see whether we can control the fire better. Um, also put fiberglass uh, along the top of the, of the pan and this will allow us to uh, get a an air seal to the weld on the water leg on the boiler. So uh, I also moved over the the flap that uh, helps to turn the flame uh, to make it start to go up and around the arch. And that's the same as it was in the other one. So we'll see. I'll let you know. Thanks.